from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News starts right now. It's nice to find a good deal on something, but when you look at the little sticker on the bottom of that toy or lamp, it generally is made somewhere overseas. However, when you buy a car, that windshield sticker includes six pieces of information about the origins of the car's parts, the final assembly point, and more. There's virtually no car that's made entirely all in the USA. All cars are a combination of parts and labor, an assembly from an from places all around the world and figuring out how much of a car is American made. Well, it's not that easy, but that is where Dave Evan comes in, the co-founder and CEO of Fictive. Hey, Dave, how are you this morning? Good. Thanks for having me. Absolute, Good morning. Absolutely. Uh, why, why don't we get started? What is the co-god? Uh, what is it made in the American Auto Index and, and how does it work? Yeah, I, it's a it's a great question. It's not a simple question anymore. Of hey, is my car American? Like, what is what does right. that actually mean uh, here? You know, parts are sourced from around the world. Uh, cars are assembled in different places, so you can't rely just on a brand uh, anymore to say uh, is this American. You know, we still look at things like. What is the assembly location? Where do the parts uh, come from? You know, where's the transmission, the engine? So there's ways we can think about it, but it's not a simple question like it was, you know, a decade or two ago. Oh, that's really interesting because sometimes those stickers can be misleading then. What percentage of my vehicle's value contributes to the U.S. economy? Yeah, I think that you really have to, if you care deeply about, and we know a lot of Americans do, you have to double click into where the parts are sourced and where, you know, the, the assembly is done. I'm, a, I'm an auto guy. I came, I came from Ford. I started a company that, you know, helps people uh, do supply chain management. Um, and so our beloved F-150, right. you know, that, that Americans loves, like, that's actually ranked 21st on the list of the really? most American car. Uh, which is surprising, you know. You think F-150, and that's that's a symbol of America. Yeah. Um, but even even that, you can't rely on a brand to say how American is the is the car anymore. I guess that those are important questions to be asking. Uh, we're about to put the top uh, most American-made cars on the screen. While we take a look at those, can you talk about why it's so important for consumers to know exactly where their cars and the car parts are are made? Yeah, you know, I think that it's it's critical to understand what you're buying. Just like, did you go to the grocery store and then, you know, you're, you're buying that piece of lettuce? Like, you want to know where it's from. Is it organic? Is it not? Uh, you know, what am I sure. What am I doing? Same, same thing's true. If you're driving your, your kids around, you want to know where it was made in those parts. And so understanding, you know, and, and doing your research before you buy is important. You know, our job here at Fictive and one of the reasons we're talking is, you know, we help make parts, millions of parts that go into these vehicles every mm -hmm. day. And I have to tell you, some people choose local and they want to make it domestic and other people choose global in this. And so, you know, it's really uh, 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 with all the supply chain chaos that's going on, um, understanding where the parts come from in your car is a critical, critical buying decision. Okay, I got one last question for you. Do you think the electric vehicle revolution will change any of these stats? I think 100%. I mean, you know, lo love Elon or, or hate him, you know, look at the list and Tesla's at the top of it. And so you can see what electric is doing to bring manufacturing closer in the U.S. because we're driving so much innovation here. And so I think seeing a lot of electrification is going to push more nearshoring uh, manufacturing and should give consumers more choices to uh, to choose from when buying American. Well, Tesla may have gotten a head start, but pretty incredible to see what the big three have in store when it comes to electric vehicles, putting Detroit on the map once again. Dave, thank you so much. Very informative and, and some really good nuggets of info there. Thank you.